Welcome, everybody. We're here with another Metal Monday. How you doing, Brett? Doing well, man. Yourself? I'm doing good. So tell us what the market did last week. You know, actually, um, we didn't really know which way the fairest markets mm-hmm. were going to go. It was kind of sideways to maybe positive. Um, for our region over here, going into Utah and going to the West Coast, we know we got a little bit of up money. Um, not a big, big price swing, but enough to kind of motivate maybe a couple people off the sidelines to bring some iron in. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's anytime the market goes sideways to up, you know, we're, we're usually pretty happy, um, especially after so many down months in a row. So that's two months in a row with some, yep. some small ups. Yeah. It uh, seems like at least some stuff I read, it, I was hoping – but I'm always hoping for a little bit more. 10, 20 bucks, you know, yeah. depending on where you're going and the grade of the material. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know, 10, 20 bucks is better than, you know. Sideways. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kicking the butt. Yeah, and I've told a few of our customers that are waiting for some cleanups, you know, that that's it's making them think. You know, it's good. Yeah. So that price points are getting close where we can go and do jobs and move the material to, you know, like your shredders and your mills, you know. Yeah. So. Copper got a good... Got a good yeah. run last week. I mean, shoot. I mean, I think at the end of the week it was up ten cents all in yeah. all. And um, another penny today. Penny. Yeah, it's come off a little bit. It looks mm-hmm. like, but I mean, um, oh shit, ten ten cents in a week. Uh, mm-hmm. It's nothing to sneeze about, you know, especially on the copper side. Is that stuff getting pretty easy to move to? Are people buying it pretty aggressively out there? I still think that there's a lack of supply. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I think that's going to ease here if, as everything opens back up and, you know, electricians start working again. And mm-hmm. but I still do think, you know, China is going to drive that market. And they're, they're going to go hard at that, at, especially on the, the number one, the bright wire, the mm-hmm. number two, anything that's 95% be- or better. I think you're going to get, you know, there's going to be some export demand that's really going to push the domestic guys. So, what about, I mean, kind of the the problem child aluminum? It came up. It's like I saw it was mm-hmm. in 71 mm-hmm. cents on the LME this morning. So, it enjoyed a little bit of the uh, the jobs report positivity that copper got last week as well. So, I think that, you know, you saw nickels came up. Yeah. Um, yep. And with both Ferris pricing and nickel coming up, you know, you should see a couple cents in stainless, like 304 grade material, which is mostly what we deal with. So mm-hmm. I think that all in all, I mean, I'm, I'm all, you and I are both pretty optimistic people in general. Yeah, but, almost to a fault sometimes. Yeah, but I think that we're, it's trending in the right direction. I mean, shit, we had a lot of podcasts where we're like, yep, getting <laughs> smashed again <laughs> yeah. today. So I'm at least happy to see that we're maybe at least on the other side of that hill for a day or two and the and the pmgs they're looking good i mean yeah. those are all good um and we're seeing the flow in the into the yards mm-hmm. you know into all our of our yards throughout buying Oregon some more converters Idaho. you know we're buying converters um, we're buying copper um it's just people are starting to come in we were open on saturday for the first time and few months yeah i saw we bought a little scrap i was we going the reports this morning yeah so. we bought some aluminum and we you know we'd had some people wait yeah. and hold on to a lot of stuff and for some of them we gave them a little bit of reward for that loyalty that they gave us too yeah so always a good thing mm-hmm. um it's a little rainy out there today it's supposed to get nicer this week over here in idaho but mm-hmm. it's pretty tough to complain about where we live so okay thanks brett appreciate you man